So not only do you uh, scavenge some otherwise wasted heat, but you're not thermally shocking the boiler by dumping a bunch of cold water. And then once the steam is given up some of its heat, it goes through here. And I don't know if you saw in the smoke box yeah, here. Yeah. There's a venturi, and so what that does is it normally the smoke box door is closed, and so it shoots um, steam up the stack, which um, sucks air with it, which also draws air through the fire. Right. It's actually fanning uh, the fire yeah. as you run it. Oh, okay. And there's another little, and this is this is it right here. That's the pipe that goes in there. That's for the stack blower, and that does the exact same thing, except it's just powered off steam from the boiler. Got it. So once you first get steam up, if you want to get it going faster, right. you can open the stack blower. So the, the main venture it only works if you can imagine if you're running the engine. So you might have a fire in the engine not running, right. so the stack blower might help you, whereas right, right. this is only when you're running. So is the only purpose of this end to suck air over the boiler? Or? Well, no, it's exhaust from the fire, too. Okay, gotcha. You have the fire box over here, and, and the tubes have all the fire and the smoke going through them, transferring their heat to the water that's around them. But theoretically, could you conserve all the water in the system? Theoretically, there are... Um, Yes, there are steam setups that do that. A lot of times boats do that, and they call it running condensers. So you take the exhaust steam and you run it through right. a condenser um, back into water. The problem with that is that you have your lubricating oil mixed in with that. Okay. Up here, you can't see it, it's on the inner side of here, there's a little um, mechanical lubricator that pumps a little shot of oil ever so often into the steam. That's the only way you get lubrication. Right. There's no oil in here, there's no crankcase or anything like that. It's like those nitro engines. Yeah, so, so in a specially designed oil that will emulsify and mix with the steam, and it lubricates the piston of the cylinder, so that is present in your exhaust. Okay. So when you recondense that, you have to separate the oil out because if you dump the oil back in the boiler, and it touches those hot sheets, it'll bake on like this really hard uh, black crud. All right. And then you got to chip it off with a hammer, and nobody wants to do that. So. Yeah, yeah, but but steamboats do that because water's at a premium. They right, might be right. out in salt water, and they don't have any clean water. Well, and cooling is free. And cooling is free and abundant, right? Yeah. So they run a keel condenser underneath, like yeah. a big tube, and run the exhaust into that. The other advantage of that is that you you create a vacuum. Right. And so now you're reducing 14 pounds of back pressure that it would otherwise. It's like adding 14 pounds on your boiler side, uh -huh. so you get more power out of it. Right. But here with these things, they didn't care. They would tow a water truck behind them and fill right. the bunkers with the wood. And you know, you could go probably three or four hours with the motor fueling water. Right. The steam tractor, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Sweet. It's yeah. <laughs>